Curley's annual homecoming celebration was to be on October the 24th. And while we were missing the activities that lead up to that Saturday, as well as the full day of socializing that homecoming is, I'm sure all understand why the event could not take place this year. Positively, fall sports are going to have a modified season beginning soon, and an effort will be made to live stream as many games as possible so fans can continue to root for the Friars. The announcement of this year's Athletic Hall of Fame class will also be made, with a more formal recognition next year along with the 2021 Hall of Fame inductees. The hybrid class schedule is working thanks to our creative teachers and our families adjusting to the modified schedule. As we move to a full day of classes, with the beginning of the second quarter on November the 9th, the hybrid method will be retained. If you follow Curly on the various social platforms, you have seen special campus store sales are making Curly gear available as they would be, for example, at homecoming. And there is still a plan for the traditional pre-Christmas sale. One thing is certain, that there are so many ways to stay in touch with alumni and friends that were not available even a decade ago. If you don't receive, but would like to receive the occasional emails, then we need your address. So please send that to the alumni office. The other Curly platforms you can access and keep track of what is taking place. I was thinking that if Jesus and the apostles got the good news out by word of mouth and then occasional letters, we really are fortunate in being able to stay in touch in a variety of formats and almost instantaneously. Thanks for keeping the Curly Good News circulating around town and indeed around the world. And we look forward to the day when our virtual situation is again in person. Stay safe. Perhaps get yourself a Curly mask to wear. And this is Father Donald here at Archbishop Curly High School in Baltimore. As always, wishing you the Lord's gift of peace.